start softly. That's it. And then I just sit there turning the key. It used to take just a few times, and now it either starts right up or it takes forever. Sounds like the switch. My wrist is sore. What'd you do to it? Trying to start that car over and over and over again. Let me see that. Is that hurt? No. That? Oh, a little. That? Oh, yes. Uh, probably carpet tunnel. <laughs> what do you think? It could be thoracic outlet syndrome. Well, doesn't that start in the back? Oh, it originates here, but you can feel it all the way down. <gasps> it, it travels that far? Oh, pain can be deceptive, but the source could be anywhere. Could be a bone spur. <gasps> oh, I hope not. Uh, and you had an x-ray? Well, I haven't been to the doctor. I was hoping that my wrist would be healed by the time the car got fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, hard to say. It's the ignition switch, no doubt. Oh, then I would like you to fix it, please. I can replace the steering column. But you said it was the switch. The switch is inside the steering column. You mean the steering wheel? That's part of it, plus the column. You mean that thing that goes all the way from the floor clear up to the steering wheel? That's it, the steering column. Well, how big is the switch? Well, like that. Oh, that seems like a waste. <laughs> Only way they sell it. Well, then I would like you to fix it. And when you're done, would you please call my husband to come pick it up? I certainly will, Mrs. Gimble. And could you get him this envelope? Oh, sure. It's a shopping list. He'll need to go to the grocery store. Oh, oh, oh. would you like a ride, Mrs. Gimble? It's part of our service. Uh, we could drop you off at the grocery store if you like. I could use a ride to the airport. Ah, you're on a trip for the holiday. Good time to get the car fixed. I'm not coming back. Until when? Never. Huh? No, would you make sure that Dr. Gimple gets the list and the car? Give him the grocery list and the car. That's it. Well, there is one other thing that you could tell him if you don't mind. Not at all. Have you ever had anyone leave you? Ask him that. No, I'm asking you that. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, have you ever been abandoned? <coughs> well, sort of. In fact, is there anything that you wanted to say, but didn't? Actually, yeah. <laughs> say that to Dr. Gimple. Say that? <laughs> to Dr. Gimple. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. <laughs> You'll become a crackpot. Oh, attribute it to me. <laughs> That's going to be hard. Oh, do your best. <laughs> Want to know what it is? What? What I would say to him. What I'm going to say to Dr. Gimple and attribute to you. Well, would it make you feel better to tell me? It's what I'm going to tell him, for you. But you and I both know that that was meant for someone else, for her, the one who dumped you. But in this context, it's you who's going to be saying it. But you're the one who was meant to say it. So you don't want to know what, in effect, you'll be telling him. What I'm going to say to Dr. Gimple, you asked me to tell him on your behalf? I don't care. Fine, but it reflects on you. Okay, go ahead and say it. I'd say, listen, you thought it was going to be tough. It's not. My memory is short. I forgot about you in five minutes. <laughs> oh, excellent. But we're true. But you said that's what you'd say. And it is, <laughs> but it's a lie. The truth would be, I still think about you. Whatever feels right to you. Don't worry. So you'll fix the ignition switch? Frankly, I'm more worried about your wrists. Uh, sometimes these injuries don't heal on their own. Well, maybe I'll get an x-ray. Maybe some support would help, but a little brace. Oh, I wouldn't wear that. They make small ones. No. They even have these special gloves that might make it feel better. Oh, that would look ridiculous. You could wear it around the house. I'm leaving my house. You'll live somewhere. By the time I get where I'm going, my wrist will be okay. It'll be okay if you come back. Your car will have a new switch. I'm not coming back. So, you'll give me a ride to the airport? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'll need to take my wrist with me. 